Welcome to the session number 5 of the TIA portal. In today's session, we will learn how we can use the counter instructions in the TIA portal. Before starting today's session, I will request you guys to please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon for more upcoming video tutorials. For the today's session, we have a start push button I0.0 and the stop push button I0.1. When we press the start push button I0.0, it will start the conveyor Q0.0 and boxes will start to travel on this conveyor. Next we have a proxy sensor I0.0 to detect the boxes. As the boxes passes in front of this sensor, PLC should count the boxes and after 5 boxes, conveyor should stop and the counter should reset and be ready for the next cycle. Let's go to the TIA portal software and make a ladder logic for the today's problem. In the network number 1, we want to make a logic to start the motor. So we will make a simple hold on logic here. First of all, we will insert I0.0, which is our start push button. And next, we will insert a coil here and we will assign it Q0.0 PLC output and it will turn on our motor for the conveyor. Next, if we want to hold on this one, we have to insert here a branch. We will insert a normal open contact here and we will assign it Q0.0 and we will connect this branch here. Now whenever this motor is on, this contact will be closed and this motor will be held on through its own normal open contact. To turn off this one, we will insert a normal close contact and we will assign it I0.1 which is our stop push button. In the network number 2, we want to make a counter logic to count the boxes. So first of all, we will insert here a normal open contact and we will assign it Q0.0. So whenever this motor is running, this contact will be closed. Next, we will insert here our proxy sensor, which is I0.2. And next, we want to insert here a positive edge scan. So we will go to the bit logic instructions and we will insert this positive trig command. And we will assign it the bit M2.0. Next we will insert here a counter. So we will be using this count up command today. And we will drag and drop this count up instruction here. And for the preset value pv we will put here 5 as we want to count the 5 boxes and the cv means the current value so we will be storing the current value of this counter into the memory word 10 now the logic here is simple whenever the conveyor motor is running and the box comes in front of the sensor on every rising edge pulse this counter will be incremented by 1 and when the counter count reaches the count 5 it will turn on a bit we can use bit m2.1 this bit m2.1 will indicate that the number of count has reached 5 so next we will insert the normal close contact of m2.1 bit here so when the five boxes have passed in front of the sensor i0.2 this bit will be opened up and it will stop the conveyor q0.0 and we can use the same bit M2.1 to reset this counter and be ready for the next cycle. Next we will upload this program into the PLC and let's see how does it works. Next we will upload this ladder logic into the PLC and see and let's see how does it works. Now we will go online with the PLC and monitor our ladder logic. As soon as we press the start push button I0.0, our conveyor starts to run and box starts to move on the conveyor. And each time the box passes in front of the sensor I0.2, the counter current value is incremented by 1 and as soon as the 5 boxes passes in front of the sensor I0.2, the counter current value reaches 5 and this bit M2.1 turns on and it will reset or latch off the infield conveyor Q0.0 
and the box stops traveling on this conveyor and on the same time this bit m2.1 has reset this counter current value and this counter is now again reset to zero and it is now again ready to count five boxes again so this is how you can use the counters in the tia portal that's the end of the today's tutorial do share like and subscribe to my channel and don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification for the upcoming video tutorials till next time take care and goodbye